Yo, what's here guys? It's Austin here or Luna. So my bad that this video is going up a little bit late. My power was out all day. Not really sure why. I just woke up and had no power and my whole street didn't have power. So uh, yeah, I just got it back. It's like 820 right now. So yeah, this might go up a little bit later than I intended. But today's story time is a very funny one and crazy one. And I hope you enjoy it. And let's just get into it because yeah, it's kind of funny. So Today's story, like many of my stories, involved me doing something pretty stupid. So, this takes place back in 2019. Now, in 2019, specifically the summer of 2019, um, I had a few friends from out of town visiting. They were from New Zealand. They were visiting my, uh, my hometown, staying with me at my apartment. And it was a really fun summer. I mean, most of the summer, nothing too crazy happened. Just had a lot of fun. Spent a lot of time like outdoors, you know, touching grass, doing things that I don't normally do, uh, such as like going swimming and skateboarding and just doing things that like felt good to be outside doing, you know. And uh, one day, all of my friends had the idea to go to a water park. Now I got excited at this because I don't care what anybody says. You are never too old to go to a damn water park. I get so excited at the thought of going down a water slide to this day. Like if I find out I'm going somewhere with water slides, you bet your ass I'm bringing a bathing suit and you bet I'm going down it like 18 times. So naturally when my friends had this idea, your boy was stoked. I was like, yes, we are doing that now. So uh, I went to the store, bought a bathing suit because for some reason I just didn't own one at the time. Got back, packed a little beach bag, and like 20 minutes later, me and all my homies were on the way to the uh, water park. Now it was a Friday. It was a nice summer day. The water park was packed. We got there, rented a locker, put our stuff in there, got changed, started going on the water slides. I was having fun. We were all having fun. Me and all my homies were having a great time. And then, like always, your boy has to go and do something that is just absolutely record-breakingly stupid. So... Around this time in 2019, my two dogs were still very young. I had just bought in these Shiba Inu puppies like a year prior. So they were still very young and like, you know, growing up and cute. And I had a bunch of photos of them on my camera roll, right? And while I was in line waiting for one of the water slides, I was on my phone. Don't ask why I had my phone while I was going down water slides. I thought that it was waterproof. I learned the hard way later on this night that it was not, but that's for a later time. So I was on my phone during this water slide line and I decided, you know what? I had this really cute photo of my dog. I'm going to tweet it and like show Twitter how cute my dog is because he's a cute dog, right? So I go on Twitter and I like find the photo and I tweet it without any second thought. And you know, it's doing good. People are liking it, retweeting it, replying, being like, oh, he's so cute. And I'm like, yeah, yeah, he's a cute dog, right? So after this, I put my phone in sleep and I put it back in my pocket because it was almost time to go down the water slide. I start feeling my phone kind of blow up a little bit. It starts vibrating a bunch and I didn't think much of it. I honestly thought that it was just notifications from Twitter from people like, you know, liking and retweeting the tweet and stuff. So yeah, I didn't think much of it and I was just kind of focused on getting to this water slide and going. And yeah, finally it was my turn to get on the water slide. It was a four person water slide. So it was me versus four people. We had to race, which was really cool. And your boy won, you know, no big deal. Just a professional water slider. So I get to the bottom of this water slide and I get off and my phone is still blowing up. I can feel it vibrating. So I open it up and I quickly realize that all of those notifications, all of those vibrations and, you know, notice I was getting was not Twitter. Some of it was Twitter, but most of it was missed calls and text messages from random numbers I've never seen before. And I almost immediately knew I was like, damn it. My number got leaked. Like, how did it leak? What's going on? And then it hit me. I was like, holy shit. I know how it leaked. So I opened my Twitter, I go to my profile, I check the photo of my dog, and in classic Luna fashion, my dumbass forgot to blur out his tag. So on my dog's tag, it says his name, and then underneath it is my phone number in case he ever gets lost, that way someone can call me if they find him. And your boy didn't check that before tweeting the photo. I just didn't think twice, didn't think to blur it, didn't think to double check that, maybe find a different photo that doesn't have my phone number in it. Yeah. Your boy just obliviously tweeted that out and leaked his own number. So now I know I'm fucked, right? I have to change my phone number, but I'm at a water park and I can't do it right away. So I just held down the power button, shut my phone off for the day and hoped that uh, nothing too bad would come of this and I would just go home and change it and it would all be fine. Well, the story doesn't end there. It gets a lot better, okay? So this water park we went to, right? It wasn't just a water park. It was a water park and a theme park. So they had roller coasters and, you know, little like carnival rides and stuff. So after we were done riding all the slides and stuff, my friends wanted to go on some of the rides. 
Now, I can't lie, at this point, I really just wanted to get home and change my phone number before, you know, anything worse happened. Like, you know, I get hacked or something from people having my number. But, uh, you know, I was like, all right, I'll ride a couple rides before we leave. And they understood. My friends all knew what was going on. So they were like, yeah, we won't be long. So we go to the first ride and it was one of those rides where you sit in like a chair and it like spins you in a circle. It's like a, like the swings essentially. I'll put a photo on the screen. You'll know what I mean. Um, and I sit down, right? And it was like singular chairs you had to sit in. So me and my friends were like sitting near each other, but not with each other. And I like put the seatbelt on and I'm sitting there swinging in the air, waiting for the ride to start. Oh, I forgot to mention, by the way, I deleted the tweet at this point. The tweet was gone. After I found out I leaked my number, I deleted that tweet. Anyway, yeah, I'm sitting down on this ride. I have my seatbelt on. And these two kids walk in through the entrance of the ride. And they sit down like a couple chairs down from me. And they're probably like 16, 17. And I can hear them talking. And I hear one of them go, dude, I tried calling, but it's not working. And then the other kid's like, try it again, bro. I want to talk to him. And he's like, I tried, bro. I think his phone's off. I think he's getting too many calls. And I'm sitting there like, huh. What a coincidence, like, I leaked my number on accident, delete the tweet, and then, like, these kids are talking about calling someone, but their phone is off, like, what a funny world we live in, right? And then I hear something that I just can't miss. I hear one of the kids go, dude, just try again, like, he's my favorite YouTuber, I want to talk to him. And I'm thinking, like, huh, did he just say YouTuber? And then the other one goes, yeah, man, I'm trying, I'm trying. I wonder if he leaked it on purpose or if he did it on accident. And that's when I realized, I'm like, yo, I think they're talking about me. So I speak up and I'm like, yo, and they're like, yeah. And I was like, what are you talking about over there? Like, whose number are you trying to call? And he goes, oh, this YouTuber, bro, he leaked his own number. And I was like, is it Luna? And he goes, yeah, you follow him too? And I was like, something like that. And he goes, bro, like, yeah, we watch all his vids. Like, I think he's from here. And like, we're trying to call him and meet up. And I go, yeah, I could hit him up and let him know. I know him actually. And they were like, what? I'm like, yeah, bro, I know him. Like, we went to school together. And he goes, dude, you sound just like him. And the other kid's like, yeah, you kind of do. And you're probably wondering, Austin, how did they know what you looked like? Well, around this time, I hadn't done a face reveal in like a few years. So it had been a while and I had my hair grown out and like I had a little bit of facial hair at the time. So I probably looked a little different. And maybe they just didn't see those videos where I face revealed. So I just played into it. And I'm like, oh, I sound like him. And they were like, yeah. And the one dude's like, are you Luna? And I start laughing and he's like, bro, it's got to be you, right? Like you sound just like him. And I was like, yeah, it's me. And they both freak out. One of them jumps out of his seat. He's like, yo, no fucking way, bro. I was just trying to call you. Like, this is crazy. Like we're in a simulation or some shit. And then the guy that runs the ride's like, hey, sit back in your seat and put your seatbelt on. The ride's about to start. So he jumps back in his chair. He's like, bro, I'm riding a ride right now. And Luna's right behind me. Like, I literally was just trying to call you. Like, what the fuck are you doing here? And we're just, like, laughing, essentially. And, yeah, we end up riding this ride. And, like, ten minutes later, the ride ends. We get off. They run up to me. They dap me up. One of them gives me a hug because he was just, like, such a big supporter, which was really cool. And he's telling me all about how he, like, grew up watching my videos and how he really loves them. And it was just a very wholesome, like, awesome, sweet moment, right? And then one of them goes, so, dude, like, why'd you leak your number? Like, was that a mistake or, like, did you do it on purpose? And I was like, bro, I'm going to be honest. My dumb ass did that on accident. Like, I did not think that my dog's tag was showing my number. And he's like, oh, shit, dude. Yeah, you're probably going to have to change your number now, huh? And I was like, yeah. So I ended up talking to these kids for, like, probably 10 minutes. And we just kind of, you know, kick it and talk for a little bit. And uh, it was a very nice, wholesome experience, like I said. And after 10 minutes, my friends were like, all right, you want to go? And I was like, yeah, I got to go, dude. I'm going to go change my phone number. And they were like, oh, all good, man. Like, awesome meeting you. And we dapped each other up, took a photo. And then I said goodbye. And to this day, this has to be one of the funniest, like, subscriber encounters I've ever had in my life. But yeah, I went home, turned my phone back on, plugged it in. It rang for a solid four hours straight. Uh, I changed my phone number. Everything was all good. Nothing else happened, luckily. But I learned a valuable lesson. And uh, the moral of the story is, if you're going to tweet a photo of your animals and you have any kind of following on the internet, make sure you double check to make sure your phone number isn't on their tag showing in the photo. Yeah. So yeah, guys, I hope you enjoyed this story time. If you did, please leave a like on the video. I would really appreciate it. Feel free to leave your story times in the comments down below and subscribe if you're new. I will see you guys all later. Peace.
I'ma keep on going, I'ma always raise the bar Told me I could not do it, looking at